Hey, it's Rich Velvet Joker here with my man Cliff to my left. And we have a special guest tonight, a super awesome commercial artist, comic book creator, and comic book artist, the man, the myth, the legend, Frankie B. Washington. Hey, everybody. What's going on out there? What's happening? Yes. I hope you are enjoying yourselves, and I hope you are staying creative. Absolutely. Let the art flow, correct, Frankie? Yes, that's a, hey, you know, that's a, that's a tag that came in my head one day. And I just was like, I'm just gonna put it out there, man, because that's what it feels like. It's like it, it's almost like the uh, the force in Star Wars. It's this this unseen thing where it's, it's the art the art flow. And when I'm and when I'm in it, man, I'm just it's a wonderful experience where everything gets zoned out and you're just like creating the art. And then once you finish that art, you put it out to the world and you go on to the next. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I've always loved yes. your energy, Frankie. You know the thing about it is that I, 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 I when I look at my journey as an artist. It's been one where, you, when I first started out, I come from Boston. I'm a Boston boy, grew up in mm -hmm. JP. My mom, the first time I started drawing, that I remember, now my memory's kind of sketchy, I'm getting older, but my mom used to bring the groceries home, have paper bags, and then she would rip off pieces and say, here you go, boy, and I would draw. And, I would, and I've always had this active kind of imagination and always drawing stuff. And so I, I loved monsters, loved monsters. The old, the old classic universal monsters, giant monsters giant creatures dinosaurs all that stuff and as well as as giant robots but the giant robots came in when uh I, my mom had taken me to child world there used to be a place called child world in Dedham, mm -hmm. and i and i remember going through the doors and and by this time shogun warriors had already been popping up as toys sure. tv commercials and stuff like that but i just remember going through the door of child world and they had a spinner rack yes yes a spinner rack and on the spinner rack, there were comics, but they were in bags. And it was like 10 comics to a bag. Okay. And in that bag, and I think it cost like five bucks. And I remember running to it, and I remember picking up that bag, and the first comic I saw was the Shogun Warriors issue number one, Shining Heaven. And I begged, I said, please, mom, please, you gotta get this for me. And she said, all right, boy. So she got it, five bucks, she got it for me. And then she bought me some, some of the Shogun Warriors, little figures. But that changed my life. 